The House of Representatives Committee on Defense has criticized the non-patronage of military hardware from the Defense Industries Corporation of Nigeria. Chairman House Committee on Defense, Baba Jimmy Benson, noted this when the Director General of the Committee General, Hassan Tafida, appeared before the committee to defend the 2022 budget performance and 2023 budget proposal of the corporation. Honorary Benson queried the rationale while all security and non-outfits of federal governments in the country are not patronizing the rich array of military and non-military equipment produced by the corporation. The committee urges you to expand your boundaries by engaging in intensive research and production of military hardware and software that will not only support the ongoing fight against insurgency and other security challenges in Nigeria, but also available for export. For instance, in 2021, the Brazilian defense industry saw a surge in its export reaching, reaching an all-time high of $1.3 billion. A large amount of this came from government-owned defense industries. Today, Brazil and other middle-income countries compete favorably with several world powers in the defense sector. This will equally eventually make DICON a self-sufficient agency, agency generating aggregate revenue to fund its activities. They are asking for more from, from what I see. How much patronage do you get from the services? You manufacture bulletproof vests. Recently, you manufactured the Ezugu MRAP. You manufacture uniforms and other things. So are you getting enough patronage? Because two billion, from what I see, it's not adequate enough to build you into the complex that your true quality is. In his response, the Director General Defense Industries Corporation of Nigeria, Deacon, Major General Tafida explained that Deacon occupies a pride place in Nigeria's evolution as a premier parastatal of the defense military solely mandated to produce arms, ammunition, ordnance materials, and other war machines for the military and other security agencies. Offer. The perceived uh, notion by most of the security agencies that DICOM was only meant for army. So they go outside. Even the armies are go outside to augment what they get from DICOR because of the state of the machine. Machines are installed since 1964, have not been upgraded. So right now, its production capacity is just about 5 million instead of 20 million ammunition per year. That is the shortcoming, sir. We've had a robust business department that has been going from one service to another, but it is true that is the capacity, sir. If we have the modern machine, sir, we will even be exporting SS. That is what we are planning now, sir. He further noted that most security outfits were not patronizing the con owing to the fact that they have wrong perception of the equipment produced by Deacon, who were meant for the military alone. Anita Patrick, Co. TV News, Abuja.